Some of you may know what it's like to be a parent. Uh, the child is on its way and you're trying to figure out, so what do I name my baby boy? What do I name my baby girl? This year, if you were to choose the most popular name for a boy, it would be Atticus. A uh, girl, Olivia. But if you were to look back over 100 years, the most popular boy's name is James and the most popular girl's name is Mary. Whatever name you'd end up choosing, the one thing that's true is that you'd pick a name that you think people would like. Would you ever consider choosing as a name the name of your worst enemy? It's probably the last thing on your mind. Many years ago, about a thousand before the birth of Jesus, there was a man named David. He was a king, a very powerful king. Someone that God had chosen to rule his own people, the people of Israel. He had everything going for him. But there was, uh, there was a day when he saw a woman who was very beautiful. She was married to somebody else. He took her to be his own wife. He killed her husband, and now he had a new wife. And he loved her. He thought this was great. She got pregnant. They ended up having a child. But before they had the child, David, King David, got a visit. He got a visit from a man who knew, based on God's revelation, exactly what David had done. And he told David a story about a man who had lots of stuff and ended up taking away the, the one thing that belonged to a very poor man. David got ticked off. David was going to punish that, that man who stole from the poor man. And then that, that prophet from God said, Hey, David, you're the guy. That's exactly what you did. David realized he was wrong. I have sinned against the Lord. The prophet told him, you are not going to die. The Lord has forgiven your sin. But there would be a consequence to help him understand just how serious an action he had taken. The, the baby that, that his new wife Bathsheba was bearing would die. So the baby died. Uh, David was inevitably saddened. But he trusted the Lord. He went on with his life. And his wife Bathsheba had four more children. The first son she had was named Solomon, and that Solomon became the next king of, king of Israel. But there was another son that she had. Uh, this son was given a name, James, Atticus. Do you know what David named that son? He, he gave the son the name of his worst enemy, except it wasn't his worst enemy. That man who told David about his sin, David could have been ticked off at him, but, but that was God speaking through that man. That man helped David recognize that he was on a dangerous path, getting away with it on this earth, but paying forever in eternity. That doesn't sound like a good trade. That man who was brave enough to talk to David about his sin, that man's name was Nathan. Do you know what David named a son born to him from Bathsheba after that first son, Solomon. He named him Nathan. Must have brought a lot of memories to his mind. But what a, what a wonderful name for a child. To name him after your best friend, the man who might have been viewed as the worst enemy in the moment, but did the thing for you that made a difference forever. May you be blessed with friends like that who tell you when you're in trouble. May you be a friend like that, ready to talk to someone even if it's hard, to let them know that they are in trouble.